Welcome guys to another episode of Real Talk featuring myself, Shady, and Debuck over here. This week's episode will be talking about FIFA 17 wishes. Now, there's been a lot of talk recently, especially on Reddit, shouts to our FIFA, and they've been suggesting a lot of things that they want on FIFA 17. So we thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us to do a real talk or FIFA 17 wish list. One interesting thing that I want in FIFA 17 is maybe indoor five-a-side football, you know, like similar to FIFA Street. It used to be in the old, old FIFAs. 97, it, I think. Yeah, it, it used to be a, a fun mode because it's not, obviously it's nothing different. It's, people won't really take it seriously. It's a bit more fun, more enjoyable, less like, less, it's all about skills, it's about having fun, it's not less competitive. Right? Well, it's going to be competitive, but you doubt you're going to get cheese or exactly. actually, well, well you know, whatever, don't matter, you can still get it. Less, less, less cheese. Less, though. less, yeah. So, and the thing is, they've got FIFA, FIFA Street, so it's, they know, they've already got that system in place mm. that it's just, it's just a matter of adding, adding it into the game, and I think that would, that would be something that's... Again, you, you asked the question, yeah. why, why not? Why not? Like you said, they have the infrastructure with FIFA Street, make some updates to the engine, you know, bring it in line with FIFA 17, put it in, yeah, you know? It can, even, it can even just be international teams, you don't have to do... Like, it doesn't have to put every single football team the ability to play, like, five a side. But you could just do international teams, which it, I don't think that's too difficult. Yeah, you know, it's not. Yeah. It'd be a start. It'll be a start. So. And then they can gauge from there whether, okay, next year. Or even if they want to do just women football, I'll, I'll be happy to play that, as long as it's in there. I don't know about yeah, you, Shane. Yeah. It's just, if it's easier, like, just to put the, the basics in so they can build onto it. But I don't know if they want to do another FIFA Street because I haven't heard anything about FIFA Street 5. So, and obviously, you know, we're big FIFA Street players back in the day. So, I haven't heard. I don't think they have any interest in making another FIFA Street. So, maybe they can just implement it in FIFA 17. Another thing I want to bring up. This one is for all you career mode players out there. I'm personally not a big career mode player. But, surely... They need to look to make some drastic improvements to that game mode. I look at a game like NBA 2K, and that series has continually had quite um, a unique, interesting, interactive, fun career mode. And I like to see something like that implemented into FIFA. Give us an actual story. I wouldn't even mind if it was a little bit corny, because I think, um, yeah, I mean, why not? You know, let's let's have something that's a bit different, a bit fun, a bit more fun. interactive. Yeah. You can go down various paths, maybe even have some rivalries, you know, maybe you come up through the youth like, team yeah. and then on the way you come, come up uh, against someone that trash talks yeah. you and then throughout your career you have, you know, just, just, just give uh, us something. Someone, someone, trying to say, but someone might say, oh, they're trying to be like a real life realistic experience so why yeah what's wrong with that people say it might be like not realistic it might not be fitting with ea realism you know because ea is a serious game it's not about having fun <laughs> it's not about having fun because anyone that's having fun with fifa 16 you're a liar <laughs> okay i wanted to leave this till last because i think it's one of the most Disappointed modes of the game, especially because we we used to play that mode quite a lot, and that is pro clubs. Now, people can say, "Oh, there's not a lot wrong with it," but the thing is, there's not there's not a lot right with it. That's the thing. It's it's, it's since FIFA 10, I don't think anything drastically has changed in that mode, and yeah. They've got they've got to switch it up. Like it's, it's it's been very static. It has been static, and there's been a lot of problems this year, especially in FIFA 16, where people were playing 200, 300, 400 games with their pro, and the next day it would all get reset. And I think that was a massive like slap in the face because when people say 
because club is one of the most enjoyable modes in FIFA. You get to play with your friends, you get one position, and you can go all the way to Division 1 with your friends, and it it's gives you like a bit of banter. You can always have fun with your friends, you can take, take the piss and stuff like that, but this year, it's like, you put, fair enough, you're having fun with your friends, but like, as you're playing, your pro will get better. So you don't, you don't want to get to, imagine you all get to division one, then next day, all your pros are reset and you're, you're back from square one. And 400 games is a lot of games. It's not, it's, a lot it's of, not like, oh, I just paid, or I can just do it offline. You have to do it online. So it's, a, it's like 400 online games. And that's, that happened to me. And I ain't lie, put me off pro, uh, clubs for maybe three, four months. And then I just, didn't have the urge to play it at all after that. Obviously, I think they, they patched it, but I've been getting comments recently on my on my videos saying, oh, it's still happening, but I don't know, I don't know. I think they patched it, it hasn't happened to me again, luckily. So I think they need to, they need to switch it up because it's just, it's just the same thing over and over again. It's like, there's nothing new to pro clubs, a bar maybe, couple of hairstyles you have new boots every year and maybe the stances but they they need to change it like it's it's like they they don't care about you clearly yeah. do not care about pro clubs yeah for me firstly respect the game mode because like d was saying respect. you can't have <laughs> put some respect on clubs yeah. name exactly. here but you can't have Someone playing 400 games, they turn their game on the next day and they're literally back to zero. Yeah. And then leave that in the game for, for months at a time. That's absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, it was for ages. Exactly. It was actually ages. If we always go back to the example of if this was Ultimate Team, would they let this happen? Not a chance on earth. Same day, the servers are going down, down. and they're fixing whatever it is. Because that's going to be stopping them from getting money. But clubs, if there's a game-breaking glitch like that is and was, they don't care. Three months later, two months later, however long it was, they finally fix it. And D-Bucks saying people are reporting that it still happens. So, firstly, respect that game mode. That game mode, factually, is the most fun game mode in FIFA. With friends. Exactly. With friends, people on mics, just, just having fun. Yeah. It's one of few game modes where you also don't actually have to be great to enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Because I can imagine if you're playing 1v1 and you lose every game, yeah, you're not, you, like, you, not going to be enjoying garbage, yourself. Yeah. But on clubs, you're, you It's a completely you're different mic. game. Like You could be good on one-on-ones, exactly. but then when you play clubs, you can it's be horrible because you're keeping game. the ball on too long. Or mm. Someone could be really good at, at clubs, but you could be horrible about 1v1. So it's not... Like, technically, if you're good at one mode, doesn't mean you're good at Doesn't clubs. translate, yeah. yeah. Not, doesn't necessarily translate anyway. But yeah, and secondly, let's see something, like, give us something. I don't care Ooh. about hairstyles. I don't care about pink afros. I don't care about free kick stances. I don't care about, I don't even care about boots, if I'm being honest with you. I just want gameplay and I want gameplay improvements. I want tournaments I want I don't know they do have that tournament yeah, don't but it? it's the same tournament a lot of the time you search you for games in the tournaments you, nothing even and comes normally up. no one takes tournaments seriously exactly, you just troll yes, in and that exactly. stuff like, but maybe so, like, give, like yeah. give us something we, we see with uh, Ultimate Team constantly we're seeing informs and we're seeing team of the, team of the season team of the week give, give us something in clubs even if it's something well, like what would you what would you think they could give maybe what can they what can they give players bear in mind it's not ultimate team it's it's a completely different game mode maybe I think maybe some sort of customizability to maybe your your club your kits yeah. your players um, they could even have you know for the, the randomly generated players they could have like experience points yeah. or some kind of currency where as you play, as you improve, or as you maybe score X amount of gold, you get bonuses. You can then use those points, upgrade the players, 
maybe upgraded players to like maybe real life players that are currently something playing. like that but upgrade them to a point where it's not a mismatch because in clubs there's always been a case of when you play any you're controlling players that are generally awful Garbage. except for your own pro yeah and then you're facing people with 89 rated pros yeah, it's so it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's always a mismatch so at least give us the opportunity to customize the players the way we want so if i want a six foot eight Maybe that's a bit much, yeah, but, but you, you know, a nice tall centre back. Centre back with a. Because all about defending. I have him on one side, then I can maybe have a ball player on the other side, and just give us the ability to customize the random players in some way. Because every year it's the same thing. As you go up one division, the players get they get a fraction tiny better. better. Yeah, that's division not, one they're stable. Enough. I guess if you're on division it's one, not enough. Yeah, but any. Anything below is just a bit of a mess. Another thing that I hope they put in this game is dedicated servers because recently I've been playing people and it's been like laggy. It's been unplayable because for someone that like myself who rely on possession, a tiny bit of lag just ruins my game. It's it's my biggest lag is big my biggest weakness because. As soon as there's lag, I can't pass where I want it to pass. I don't know that I can anyway. It's bad enough as it bad is, enough it throwing is. lag. Throwing and... lag, I, it's just a mess and it's mm. just, it's really off-putting. So maybe they can think about adding dedicated servers. So it's not like they don't do it for other games. I think, yeah, I think Battlefield. other, Battlefield's got yeah, dedicated servers. So maybe it's not like they haven't got the money. They've definitely got the money. So mm. hopefully they can, especially for... Like just one to be one, it's not like it doesn't take that much to put servers in, especially in this day and age where most games do have dedicated servers. So, yeah, you can't be just relying on someone's internet these days because exactly. sometimes I get really bad lag in a game and I message the person, I'm like, Would you get in this lag as well? It's like, Oh, sorry, it's my internet connection is bad. I was like, Why, why, why would I get punished? But because this guy doesn't have the same internet as me or has poor internet. Thanks guys for watching our FIFA 17 wish list. Do let us know what you'd like to see in FIFA 17 in the comments below. You guys have been great. I've definitely been great. Thank you for watching guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Right now on FIFA, 7, oh, FIFA 16, let's be honest, no one really has control over the game. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Like everything that you want to do, the game doesn't allow you to do.